What's up? Welcome back to the Levitt Creative Channel and in this video I'm going to show you how to draw this cute bike and I'm going to show you how to use the reference tool, drawing guides, clipping masks, and a couple of other tools along the way. So first we're going to start with getting our reference out. So go to your canvas section and turn on your reference and then you'll insert a photo from there. It's the middle option where you collect image. So we're going to start with that. You can move it up. You can also um, zoom in and out of the photo and uh, color grab from the photo itself. Really nice tool that Procreate 5X brought into for us. So we are going to situate our canvas. I tried to make it smaller, but then I just gave up. So we are gonna start with making just a rough outline. So I'm gonna speed that up. And so you'll get an outline of your bike. You'll do the wheels and then use whatever you see on your reference to make just the basic lines of a bike. Thankfully, this one's really simple. Now we're going to jump into using the drawing guide. So you'll turn the drawing guide on, perspective, and then put the dot in the middle of that first spoke, or the middle of the wheel, technically. And then you'll click done. Make sure drawing assist is on. And then I learned from doing this, you don't want to start from the inside. You want to start from the outside. So I kept trying it from the outside, and it kept taking me the wrong direction. So use the perspective tool and go all the way around starting from the outside going in that will make it easiest for you and then I'm gonna change the opacity I'm gonna get a line just like the line in the picture you don't have to do this depending on what picture you chose I did get the picture from unsplash me it is a not a, it is a stock photo I meant to mention that earlier so for the outline today we're gonna use the monoline brush so we're gonna end up doing this more than one time so I didn't mean to do three outlines but that's what we ended up doing. So I did the outlines for the handle and the seat in a slightly smaller uh, thickness of a brush. So now we're going to do the spokes. And I ended up doing um, double spokes for all of them because I felt like that looked cool. Didn't have as cool of a design as the photo I chose um, has, but I felt like it added a little bit of interest to the wheel, made them a little bit more fun, and it made it look a little imperfect, which I like. I don't like when everything's practically perfect you'll also notice that i missed one of the bars in the bike i go in and add that later just to you wait so we're going to add a new layer to add the colors on to the frame of the body and i didn't realize that when your layers tab is open you can't mess with the zoom on the reference tool so i'm going to do that with a cream color it's basically like a light yellow but when it's, uh, it looks like cream. So I'm gonna do this in a new layer on top. And thankfully I've sped this up for you so you don't have to watch all of it. And again, I miss that middle bar in the middle, but trust me, it comes back when I start shading and I realize it's gone. Then in a new layer, I'm going to add the bike seat and I'm also going to add the handlebars. But each handle I'm gonna keep in a separate layer because I'm gonna come in and add shading later and that's just gonna make it easier on me. So we're gonna do that instead. And I messed up on the handles and it took me a while so I, ch I cut a chunk of that out so you didn't have to watch me struggle for a super long time. But know that if you struggle with stuff and you have to undo and redo a lot of stuff, know that you're not alone. We all do it. So there's our one handle. Wow, I'm drawing really slow. <laughs> and then I'm gonna go to another layer to do the other handle. That's just so, like I said earlier, it's easier to shade. Um, when I get to that point. So I'm gonna color drop into those babies. And I also added a little box at the top. I don't know if you noticed that. I accidentally cut that part out too. So um, if your bike has that, you can um, add whatever extra little doodads and features. I kept mine pretty simple. This was the point when I realized I wanted to delete, delete the outline layer but I put the tires on that layer. So I made put my thickness all the way up because I did want a little bit thicker of um, a weight to the outline on the tires. And then I just had to edit those just a little bit. And we'll speed this up for you. But I'm using the uh, quick shape feature and then I just made sure it lined up over the spokes so it looked um, clean. And then I turn the drawing guides off. So now I'm basically done with the outline and all the colors, except I also missed the petals. So you'll see that once I start shading, I realize I've forgotten that. When I get recorded, I just, I lose, uh, I forget some stuff. So I'm also gonna add the background right now. You can wait to the end to do this. 
So I added a dark green, even though in the picture it's a it's a navy blue, and then I added a, like a tan, dark tan color for the uh, sidewalk that it's on. So now I'm gonna start adding shading, I believe. Let's see what I do next. I can't really remember. Oh, so I'm gonna add a clipping mask to the cream layer of the outline. Then I'm gonna use this. Um, I'm gonna use the SB pencil, but the size has turned all the way up in the preferences. Um, I'll show you right here. Size is turned all the way up. I also have the streamline turned up. Um, if that is of any interest to you. So now I'm going to turn the um, size down a little bit and create some shading here. So I just looked at the shading of the picture to guide me on where to put shading and where to put highlights. So you, where of the lights coming in for yours, do that. Or you can just copy what I do if you want to. So I added a little bit of shading on this front bar that connects to the wheel. Um, it didn't really have a super strong shading on either side, but I did add um, an under shading underneath that main bar. And then you'll see, I do speed this up just because it does take a, a chunk of time. But I just, I use the photo reference to guide where I put my color. So we're going to speed this up in three, two, one. And I add shading on all of my crossbars, all of that stuff. This is when I realized I didn't have... <laughs> the pedaling mechanism so this bike would be absolutely useless if it was used in real life this is when i'm putting my head in front because i was <laughs> i need, realized i needed to zoom in thankfully my head didn't get too bad in the way today like it did in the camera video if you see that one <laughs> so i'm going to add that in and then i'm going to jump back into the shading i'll shade the pedal um next i think Oh, this is, I, so I added clipping masks to all of the layers, um, and that's because I'm gonna come back in and I'm gonna add shading to those, and clipping masks make it so easy. They are a lifesaver, they're the best thing ever. So I'm gonna add some more shading. This is me doing the highlight, so I just added a white color, um, and then I realized I forgot this crossbar. So I used a little bit thinner of a bar because I feel like it's an important bar, but it's not as, weight bearing or whatever so i chose to make it thinner i added the shading to that and then i added the shading to the handlebars as you can see i've got the highlights on top and the shading i did use an overlay layer so if you tap on the little n in the layers menu i selected went down and selected overlay and i just chose a white and a dark gray color i did the same thing for the um, pedaling mechanism so the reference or the the mask for that is overlay and overlay it keeps the same shade or tone of the color but it will make it darker or lighter based off of the color you choose this one i didn't um do a overlay because the yellow looked really gross with the overlay so i did instead i just did a regular clippy mask and chose a color Hopefully that made sense. I'm hoping in the future to do a whole video on masks. If you want to watch one right now, you can go to Ghost Papers uh, YouTube channel on here. He just came out with a new um, full guide on all of the masks you can do, which was awesome. I learned so much from it. Um, I really use the overlay one a lot, which is why I chose to use it in this one. This is me adding the shading to the bike tires. I added some gray, um, light gray on top and then on the inner side of the bottom. And then I added a white in another layer on both the top and the inner layers you can see there. And then I changed the opacity just so there was a little bit more of a gradient. So there was kind of like a darker shadow or a darker highlight and then a lighter highlight. And I didn't add any shadows to the tires because they're black. Um, so this is me moving the bike. So I swiped right on all of my layers. And then I'm going to click the transform or the cursor tool. And this allows me to move all the layers at once. This is one of my favorite tips for Procreate because it makes moving everything all at once so easy, especially when you have like 20 layers like I do. Now we're going to do the background because the bike itself is finished. Yay. So we are going to do an overlay layer like I just did. And I'm just going to pick a lighter gray color. So it's a lighter shade than the green I'm using, which means it will show up as a light color, but it will stay the same shade of green, um, just a, 
a lighter shade of green basically or the same hue that's what i meant to say the same hue different color so i just added a little bit of color like you saw in the photo i added this layer because there was kind of like that dark gap in between the wall and then this is just me adding the shadow underneath the bike like you see in the photo and then after that i felt like it needed a little bit something more so um i gauge and blurred the shadow itself and then i'm going to add a little bit of texture to the ground and the back wall um, if you want to learn more about texture brushes i have a texture 101 video where i show you how to make the speckled brush that i use so i'm going to pick this speckled brush and i'm going to stay on that um, layer I chose a dark color and then I went in and I had to erase around the shadows just because it was speckling the erase part too because it was an overlay shadow just so it would stay the same shade as that um, brown. But that is it. I think it turned out really cute. I know I stayed zoomed out for the most part because I, I needed myself to see the reference tool. If this video helped you, share it with someone you love, like it, and for sure subscribe to my channel to stay tuned for more tutorials, tips, and hacks for Procreate. Thanks, guys!